Hey there, Mission Control, The Real Martian here. Well, today we're going to start a new series. This is going to be the Help Wanted series that I talked about. It might even be more like Help Needed, uh, Help. I'm in uh, really deep and I need uh, other people's ideas here on some of these hard, hard problems. So uh, what I want to do is kind of break the whole thing up into a, a series of videos. Uh, the problem, or problems I should say. And I want to take this video to kind of introduce uh, the major projects uh, that are going to be part of this uh, Help Wanted series. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to use a whiteboard uh, just because it kind of helps me uh, visualize, kind of lay out my thoughts. So um, first, the most important thing that everybody needs to remember is November 11th. Uh, kind of not very color that. November 11th. There we go. That's the date that it started snowing last year. So all work, whatever solutions we come up with, have to be done before this date. Now, last year, if you followed along, if, you, if you're new to the channel, I encourage you to go back and check out some of our early videos. You know that we had a really rough winter. We survived it, but this year we don't want to just survive. We want to thrive. So there's some key things that, again, those that have been following around along, you know what they are, but let's uh, go ahead and list them out. Number one, we have to figure out the heating solution. Now, some of you are already going to be thinking, no, Jeff, you need to figure out the insulation solution. That's number two. So both of these things are essentially tied together. We can't solve one without solving the other one at the same time. So we got to kind of do a chicken and an egg situation. So you could say that this one was first or this one second. It really doesn't matter. They both have to be figured out. <clears throat> Another problem that we have is microgreen processing. So microgreen processing is when we have to go out there, Mrs. Martian gets all dressed up in her Martian suit, goes out there in the cold, and is actually taking microgreen trays off the line, cutting them, drying them, cleaning them, packaging them, and then taking them into town for delivery. We need to figure out how to do that significantly more efficiently. So let's talk about what that means. We've done the math for what it is that we need to earn out of all of this uh, to break even and to do more than just break even. And we need to have a 97% increase in efficiency. Uh, so that means we need to kind of think more like Henry Ford and figure out how we're going to go through and uh, really automate, streamline, make this microgreen processing as simple as possible. Part of that microgreen processing is heating a small area in the building. So we actually need to kind of make an area where the sink is at uh, and, and make it warm, so warmer than uh, just the temperature for the plants. We need to make it warm enough so that Mrs. Martian doesn't turn into a popsicle. So um, these are the top three things that we need to do this year. So I think this would be item number four and item number five. Uh, number four is microgreen lane retrofit. And number five is rewire building. All right, so number four has to do with the fact that the building wasn't specifically designed for microgreens, and the lanes that we have, the aquaponics, the way they're set up, they were not designed for microgreens. But in order for us to earn the money that we need to be able to pay for the research to accomplish our mission to provide sustainable food and energy to our local communities and communities around the world, is we need to make money. So we're doing that by selling microgreens to help pay for the cost of the development effort. So... Uh, we're going to retrofit lane two this year to actually be microgreen specific, and they're going to build lane one, which is currently sitting empty. There's nothing there right now. And we're actually going to build lane one so that it's microgreen specific from the, the ground up. Still going to be aquaponics. We're still going to have trout and everything uh, in the lane just like we do but um, for lane two and lane three right now, but it's going to be built specifically for microgreen. And then... With the heating and everything that we need to do, the lighting, we have a lighting problem, I guess, so that's number six. 
we're actually going to need to custom build some lighting. But the lighting is going to be dependent on us rewiring the building as well as the pumps. So I guess there's quite a few more projects that I get. They keep coming to me. I have them all written down on a schedule, but doing this stuff ad hoc here as I put this together for you, I'm sorry, I'm kind of throwing it all down. So we actually got quite a few projects that we need to go through. Uh, the retrofit, rewiring the building. Rewiring the building will help us have more electricity because we need more lighting. And uh, also we could redo the pumps, maybe go to a single pumping facility and reduce electricity so we have more lighting and then provide more electricity for heating. Um, so these are the big projects that we have to do. In this series, I'm going to go through putting them all together for you, uh, kind of talk about the requirements and what I see as being the challenges. I'll try to take you out to the building and show you these things specifically. So uh, let's call it quits for right now on this video. Uh, I'll follow up with the actual specific individual projects as their own videos. I really look forward to your inputs. Um, I'm at a point right now where this November 11th deadline is heavy on my heart, heavy on my mind, and I am fully uh, booked. I'm, I've got, I'm working on this when I'm not at my normal job. I'm working on this, trying to put everything together. And uh, on my schedule, it shows that I'm pretty much running two months past November 11th right now. So I'm putting this uh, message out there for anyone who would like to help. Um, if you really, if you live close to us, and you're interested in actually coming up and helping with physical labor, that's great. Though it's actually kind of hard. The physical labor is tough because I have to have everything planned out so that it's worth your time to come up. Usually I'm learning how to do this stuff as I go, so there's lots of mistakes, lots of trial and error, and I, I would hate to have people drive up here and me not have everything perfectly organized so that you feel like you're really doing stuff and not just sitting around while I figure out what's going on. So. Um, what I really need help with is engineering and design. So I'm reaching out to students out there that are following along. This would be great work. I'm sure if you work with your engineering or science teachers or your math teachers, they would love to see you do some of this work because this is a real-world application of those classes. Um, for those of you in gardening classes and you'd like to help out, I definitely need help there. Um, to the teachers out there, I think this would be great material for your classes to actually use. Uh, so you can actually go through real problems and, and show them how math and science and technology can be used to solve real-world problems rather than just ones that people uh, wrote down in a book. So, um, and to all the mechanics and mechanically inclined people and just people who have good ideas, um, this video series is for you, right? I hope that our, the normal comments that we've been getting in our a forum for each video, just uh, continue to do what they've been doing, which is being very collaborative, very constructive, uh, and let the good ideas flow. Uh, probably safe to say that if you have an idea, that does not necessarily mean I'm going to go do it. Um, but I think a good part of engineering is when people come together and they share ideas. And that's how better ideas get born. So I'm excited to share these things. I'm really hopeful uh, of what will come out of this. I think that together we can come up with some really cool ideas. Uh, it'd be fun. I'm hoping it'll be fun for you guys. Uh, this is collaborative. So, you know, you probably haven't ever met me. Uh, and here we are working together. Uh, I know there's people around the world that are watching this. So this could be a global effort. It could be really cool. I mean, that's, that's actually pretty exciting if you think about it. Um, Anyway, so I'll stop blabbering. Uh, there's going to be quite a few videos in the series, so I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to your feedback. If you like this video and the video, uh, the channel in general, please be sure to give us a thumbs up on our videos. It really does help. You can hit subscribe if you like, and you get hit the bell to get notified. You can also join us on Facebook or on Twitter and get notified there. It seems to work a little bit better than YouTube. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out.